Hi, and welcome to this 10 minute mini resistance band session. This is the mini band that I'm gonna be using today. It's a fabric resistance band. It's super comfortable, super durable, and it's got the elastic on the inside. So if you've got yourself one of these or even one of the rubber versions, then that is all you need for this workout as well as a mat or a soft surface. So if you're ready, then let's get going. Okay, so for today's session, we're gonna be using our mini band to work our whole body. We're not just gonna be using it for the lower body, which is what you see most often, but we're actually gonna be using it for the whole body. So I want you to slip that band on over your wrists, and I want you to give a little bit of tension into the band. So if you've got no tension into the band, it's gonna be loose and floppy like this, but I want you to give a little bit of tension into the band, and then holding your arms apart, I want you to come up and down. So we're just starting to warm up here through the shoulders, and into the core. So holding into your tummy, we're gonna go for 10 reps here. So this is number three, holding into your tummy. So of course, with your resistance band, you can add or take away the resistance by just adding a little more stretch, putting a little bit more tension into the band. So if this is already feeling hard, then you can either do this warm up without the band, or you can just take some of that resistance out by putting your hands a little closer together. One more here then. Good, and rest, amazing work. You're gonna put the resistance band on now over the top of your knees. So just stepping into the band and just put that over your knees like so. We're gonna do our squat. So it might feel a bit weird at first. It might feel like it's gonna fall down. If you're keeping a little bit of tension into that band, it's not gonna go anywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my squat. I'm gonna sit back into the squat with the back nice and straight. And that is where the band is gonna add some additional tension. Stop those knees coming in, keep the band out. Ready, 10 squats, here we go. So squat, two, three, four, five, good, six, Seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. Amazing job, you can already feel adding that band in really makes a big difference in these exercises. You're gonna keep the band exactly where it is and we're gonna head down to the mat. So just working down to the mat into an all fours position and we're gonna do one of my favorite exercises which is a donkey kick with a bent knee so we're gonna push that Flat foot up onto the ceiling, keeping the band over the knee. We're gonna do 10 on each side. Ready, let's go. So push up one, two, three. Now don't worry if your band starts to make crackly noises as it's moving over your skin. Don't worry if it's sort of folding on itself. The latex ones will do that. These fabric ones sort of stay where they are a bit more. Eight, nine, and 10. We're gonna switch sides. I do have these bands available on my shop, by the way, so if you're interested in buying a set of these bands, they come in light, medium, and heavy resistance. So if you're interested, let me know. I'll let you know where you can get them from. Two, one. Let's go to the other side then. 10, nine, eight, Good, keep that foot flat. Seven, six, five, good. Four, three, keep that chin away from chest. Two, one more, one, and rest. Amazing work. We're gonna stay down on the mat, but we're gonna take the band off from your, the top of your legs here. We're gonna put it over our feet. Now this, sometimes, when I do this with my clients, some people find this really tricky, so I'm just gonna show you exactly what I want you to do. Put your band over your feet, okay, so it's over the toes of your shoes, or if you're not wearing shoes, just over the main part of your fleshy part of your foot and the ball of your feet, okay? Then I want you to lie back, okay, as if you were on a beach, just chilling. Bring one leg up, straight and the other bent. So now you've got one foot in front of the other and though that band is still over the toes, you're gonna pull in a knee, you're gonna switch side and pull in the other knee, okay? And that's gonna be one on each side, okay? So get that band over the toes of your shoes 
over the laces around the main part of those shoes, bring the legs up, one pushes out straight, one knee comes in towards you, pull, switch, pull. If you always keep some resistance in the band, then it's not gonna fall off. It's when you don't keep any resistance in the band, that's when it's gonna ping off. If it pings off, it's okay, it doesn't matter. Now try and keep that chin away from chest. Try and pull that knee in as much as you can. Pushing that other leg out, we're halfway through. If you're starting to find tension into your neck, then you can always lie down onto the mat, but it does make it a little harder through the core section. Good, keep working with me, two more on each side. One more on each side. I do like this exercise. You may not agree at this point in time and rest. Well done, really, really good job. Okay, we're gonna come up to our feet. Before you do, it's probably easier to put the band back on, up over the knees for this little portion. We're gonna be using the length of your mat or your soft surface here as we're just gonna work through a couple of crab steps, okay? So just come to one side of your mat, leave a little bit of space. So you're gonna drop down into your squat, step across over, coming back up, down, step across over, coming back up. So you should be using the sort of the middle two thirds of your mat, leaving a little space on each side so that you know that you're not gonna be overstepping, understepping. It's quite a good way to know that you're not moving too far in one direction, one leg's not overworking. So, are you ready to go? We're gonna go forwards and back for one. Ready, squat down with me, across, stand, down, across, stand, that's one. Up, down, two. Good. That's three. Stay with me here. Well done. Four. And five. Good, so always keeping some tightness into that band. Six. Up. Tight into the tummy. Seven. Good. Eight. Back nice and straight. Nine, are those legs feeling it yet? Come on, one more. Let's do it together. And 10. Amazing work, okay. Take the band off the legs. I feel like my legs feel weird when the band's not on. After I've been using it a while. We're gonna go back to putting it on over the wrists and we're gonna head down to the mat. We're gonna do a bridge hold. Now, if you usually struggle with a bridge hold in a full bridge position, don't worry. You can go onto your knees. If you struggle to get down to the mat at all, you can use a wall or you can use a raised surface. This is your workout so you have all the power, all the choice. Stick that band over your wrists and then just give it a little tension. So pull it out a little bit. Come into your bridge position, whether that's on your toes or onto your knees. And we're gonna hold here. If you want a little bit more, then you're gonna step out. Step out one toe at a time. Obviously, if you're in the knee position, you can't do that. You're just gonna give yourself a little bit of extra resistance through those wrists, okay? Ready to go, then we're gonna go for 30 seconds. Two, one, let's go. So you're either holding here, holding here, on your wall or raised surface if you prefer. And if you want to, you can tap. But you've gotta be able to keep those hips nice and level. Halfway through. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good job. So I was trying to show you all the different movements that you can do in that exercise. Exercise is really, really um, flexible. You can do whatever you want. Okay, make sure you're not hurting yourself. Just do whatever level is right for you on this given day. Okay, next exercise. We're gonna stay onto the mat. We're gonna put that band back on 
over the knees. Okay, so lying down onto the mat, push the hips up. Okay, so you're pushing your hips up, nice and tight through the tummy, push and hit, squeeze those bottom butt cheeks together and then bring the knees out. One, two, keep those hips high. Three, four, squeeze. Five, oh, it's tough. Six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Amazing work. Up to your feet. We've got the last little bit coming up. And this time you're gonna put the band around your ankles, okay? Or just around about your um, lower shin. What we're gonna do is we're gonna stand and you're just gonna take that foot away. One, two, okay? Like that, we're gonna go 10 on each side. Tight into the tummy if you need to hold on to the back of a chair, the wall, a windowsill, anything that you have, back of the sofa, whatever you've got, that's fine. Just no leaning over to hold on. So holding on with a tight tummy. Are you ready if you're gonna hold on? If not, I prefer hands on hips. Ready? Let's go, 10 on each side. One, two, three. The trick is to keep a little tension in the band. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Straight swap for the other side. Let's go. One, two, try and control. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. That is your workout done. That is your 10 minute resistance band workout done. Please take your band off safely, no falling over as you take that off. If you need to sit down to take it off, please do. Have a little walk around. Please, please, please try out one of my active recovery sessions. After this, I've got an eight minute active recovery or a mindful flow. It's really good just having a little stretch. Check that out on my channel. Please subscribe, like, comment, all the good stuff. And I so look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care, bye.